Man, what's up everybody? You already know who it is. It's white boy Rick. We back at it again with another video and in today's video We're gonna be speaking about money the root of all evil and how it led a man to shoot his baby mother and kill four of her family members in order to get his hands on that sweet stimulus money Let's jump into it Indianapolis an Indiana man shot the mother of his child and killed four of her family members, including her seven-year-old daughter, following a domestic dispute over the most recent stimulus check. According to news station, Malik Halfacker, 25, is facing preliminary charges of murder, attempted murder, and robbery in connection with the quadruple homicide, which occurred Saturday night at a home on North Randolph Street in Indianapolis. Wendy Johnson told news stations that her cousin, Janetrius Moore, and Hal Facker, the father of Moore's six-month-old daughter, had argued Friday about the $1,400 stimulus check issued as part of the federal government's COVID-19 relief package. She had just gotten her money, and he wanted half of her money. Johnson, who was familiar with Moore's account of the incident, told the news station. After Moore offered him $450, Hal Facker left vowing to get that money. The next evening, he returned to the home and found Moore with family members. Halfacker again demanded the money and started to look inside Moore's purse. As the dispute escalated, Halfacker took out a gun and opened fire, injuring Moore and killing her brother, Daquan Moore, 23, her mother, Tamika Brown, 44, her cousin, Anthony Joshua, 35, and her daughter, Eve Moore, 7. Halfacker then fled with the couple's infant daughter, Malia. Neighbor Craig Jackson told news station that Janetrius Moore ran into his house and banged on the door crying for help. She was frantic. She was hysterical. She was in pain. She said her baby daddy shot her and he shot her, her mother, and the kids. She said she was the only person who got away. Jackson, who called 911, said Moore told him that Halfacker had shot her for her stimulus money. Indianapolis police soon responded and began searching for Halfacker. They also issued an Amber Alert for Malia, who was found safe the next morning. On Sunday evening, police arrested Halfacker following a standoff at an East Indianapolis home. Alright y'all, let's jump into this one. So as y'all seen in the intro, we speaking on money and the root of all evil and the type of shit that people get themselves into over money. Now don't get me wrong. I'm a human as well, I live in the city, I understand I got bills to pay, I got mouths to feed, you feel me? So I understand that money is what drives us all, and we all need it, and we all need it to get by and survive. I feel that, you feel that, we should all feel that because we all need money at the end of the day. Now the real issue is though, is when you make choices and decisions on how to get that money, and what you're willing to sacrifice to have that money, right? So this one hits a little bit home because like most people, we getting stimuluses right now. We in a pandemic, we all need money. People are losing jobs. A lot of people ain't been working for over a year. A lot of people still ain't get their unemployment. A lot of people are hurting right now. Me included, you feel me? So I completely understand the need for this money. But don't get it misconstrued. I'm not out here ready to kill people to come up on no stimmy money. And y'all shouldn't be either. But the whole thing is, when you have children, when you got mouths to feed, when you got bills that are due, and when your back's up against the wall, you gon' do some shit you may not have expected yourself to ever do. And that's the whole thing right here, is whenever you get in those positions, whenever you, on a small scale or a large scale, whenever your back's against the wall, or whether, whenever you're put into a position where you gotta make decisions, and you may not have tons of time to think about it or you got to make a decision now business has to be handled now so you need to always have a strong mentality you feel me because this this could have easily been avoided i mean he shot his baby mother and killed four of her family members one being her mother and one being a seven-year-old little girl so the question is if that played out as perfect as he wanted to, let's say he got away with it and he got all five of their stimulus checks, 1400 times five is only 7,000. So you look back and you question, 
am I willing to kill four to five people or at least attempt to murder four to five people for seven thousand dollars I mean are we are, are, are you willing to take a life over fourteen hundred bucks or seven thousand bucks I mean as you know money comes and goes that shit's gonna be gone like nothing so you may have that seven bands right now and in two weeks you're gonna need seven more so that's the whole thing is making decisions but you need to weigh out all the outcomes ahead of time he was mad that she ain't give him half the stimulus check she offered 450 but why should she have to cough up her own why should if they got stimulus money for children why should the adults necessarily have to have that to spend and to blow they should be able to pay rent for the next few months or get food for the next few weeks or months they shouldn't be needing to go ball out and go spend it however the fuck they want because then you find yourself in a situation like this where you're shooting your baby mother and her family to come up for seven grand tops. That's high end. That's the max you would have gotten is seven thousand. And now fast forward after all that played out, you didn't get the money. You're locked up and you're facing so many charges most likely you gonna end up doing 25 to life off this so you just risked your entire life for a few thousand dollars and he's not the only person who's done shit like this plenty of people will make poor decisions based on the position they're in at that moment without thinking and a lot of it comes down to money most of the time people are getting robbed or beat up or anything like that it's because the person doing that wants what you got whether it be a chain jewelry money any of that they want what you got and a lot of people don't think ahead to think well shit even if I come up and I steal this five thousand dollars how long is that gonna last what if I get caught and I do a year which is a little amount of time for robbery and shit like that so if I do a year you can make more money than you can steal in the time that you would be locked up and that's what a lot of people don't think about is all the different possible outcomes that can happen when you make choices and decisions and again when your backs against the wall and when you're hurting and when you got mouths to feed and when you feel like you're the breadwinner and you post to handle business a lot of people do go that route of the easy fast money the people who have that longevity of money who are solid who've been solid it's because they played the long game they didn't do this little short quick fast money because they know that shit gets them fucked up that shit gets you locked up in trouble or that shit run out as fast as it comes it's gone so that's my whole takeaway for this one again is thinking about every possible outcome i don't care if you got a hundred potential outcomes if you're gonna make a major decision even if it's not major if you're gonna make a decision you got to weigh out those options and be willing to stand on that outcome. So if your decision is, hey, let me go kill these four or five people and make this seven band stimulus. Don't be complaining in the courtroom. Don't be none of that. You got to stand on that decision. But you probably ain't going to stand on it because you didn't think it through and it's not what you wanted to do. Realistically, it's not what you wanted to do. You felt like it was your only option. And the only reason you felt like it was your only option is because you didn't sit down and think. You got caught in your emotions. And what happens when you're caught in your emotions and you're making decisions? Nine times out of ten, they go to the left because you're making emotional based decisions and not logical. You feel me? And I'm not trying to sit here and just bash dude the whole time, but I'm trying to use him as a perfect example, small or not. Whether this was for a dollar or a hundred million dollars, you got to make your decisions based off all the potential outcomes and you got to weigh those out and you got to be smart at all times. Trust and believe you me, if rent ain't paid here, I'm handling business, but I'm not going to go rob nobody or I'm not going to go kill nobody to get enough money to pay my rent. I'll get three, four, five jobs if I have to. I'll sell my car if I got to. Whatever I got to do that's legitimate, I'm going to do that to make sure there's a roof over my head and everything's handled. But a lot of people, they get caught up in that and money is the root of it. Like I said, 
Y'all have heard this a billion times before. I ain't the first person to say it to you. Money is the root of all evil because we all need it. It's a necessity and people get greedy. And if I'm in a fucked up position, I don't really care about what you're going through, but I need to get myself up top. And that's how a lot of people think. So I just really want y'all to take this story and one, keep your head on a swivel and be on your P's and Q's because again, this could have happened to anybody anywhere anytime right now because we're all getting stimulus checks so make sure y'all stay safe stay protected keep your head on a swivel watch out for the fuckery because it's out there and anytime you get in a position where you got to make a decision make sure you weigh that shit out you make the best decision possible and regardless of the outcome you stand on your 10 toes and you you own that decision whether you fucked up or not and you got to learn from that decision at the end of the day, you gotta own that and you gotta grow from it. And if you made the right decision, continue on that path and notice that that's a blessing because it's so easy to make the wrong decisions. And when you got a decision, you'll be presented with nine fucked up ones and one good one. So it's real hard to find that good one, you feel me? But hey, that's my takeaway. Make sure y'all stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. Make sure you think shit through and don't ever let the money get you fucked up. But hey, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you can see it first. If you want to support the channel, make sure you click the link in the description below. You already know who it is. It's White Boy Rick. Till next time.